One of the challenges for our patients is going to include conjunctival chalasis, which is a redundant, excessive conjunctiva over the surface of their eye. And one way to explain it to patients is they have wrinkles on their eye. They usually appreciate it. And some of them will say, just call me old. The point of the wrinkles is not that it's a problem. A lot of patients have this. Usually you see it along the lid margin. Uh, but the challenge arises when there's friction between the eyelid and those folds that creates the, a foreign body sensation or tearing tends to be more pronounced after cataract surgery, meaning they had the wrinkles before, but cataract surgery can cause irritation and inflammation that then upsets the balance of their eye, creates maybe a little bit of inflammation, which creates swelling. That swelling accentuates the folds a little bit, which creates friction, which creates more inflammation, and yeah, they're on a vicious cycle and can never get back to normal. You may be able to see this perfectly fine without any manipulation of the lid, but in this case, you see it even better as that lower lid is just pushed up slightly against the globe. And you can see that conjunctival tissue just prolapsing up and away from the actual eyelid. And I like, I think wrinkle is a perfect analogy and patients can relate to that and understand that and they feel it and they want it fixed. So what are the ways that we can tackle conjunctival chalasis? Why? This patient also had an inferior conjunctival cyst that they were more bothered by the appearance of. This is a patient after cataract surgery who also had the most common signs are either inferiorly, gets worse when they look down, or superiorly, which gets worse when they blink. I treat it with cautery. This is a little bit injection of lidocaine with epinephrine, which is numbing. I also drain the cyst at the same time. Since I already have a sharp instrument in my hand, you can see it deflates that cyst. The cautery is applied to the conjunctiva above that injection, which provides a buffer. So I don't treat the sclera, which I want to avoid. And here you can just see me cutting open that cyst a little bit more. The challenge of a cyst is not the draining, but that it doesn't come back. Now this is the beginning of the actual cautery procedure, just making these, to me, looks like a shrink wrap, little weld spots on the conjunctiva. And when you're watching, you can actually see that tissue contract and pull in to where the burn is being applied. When I look at that, I get concerned for conjunctival blood vessels. To me, I wonder, is that damaging those blood vessels? What's the recovery like after this procedure? And I would be curious what your thoughts are on that. So usually within a week, they're much better. The first three days can be annoying and irritating, just like if you have had a, ever had a burn. It doesn't hurt by itself, but when you touch it, it feels tender and sore. This is very much the same experience. This, I just treated the inferior quadrant, and here you can see kind of that constriction of the uh, conjunctiva as the heat is applied. I've not seen any issue with conjunctiva blood vessels. Most of the time, if the everything's healed, final healing can take maybe a few weeks. You can't even tell that anything was done besides the fact that things are now tighter and smoother. I think the slow-mo really shows that contraction of the conjunctiva nicely. Now we're going to also, I want to mention that conjunctival cyst for a moment. You talked about puncturing it with a needle to drain it. If that was the only part of the procedure done, would you expect that to recur and come back? Or is that sufficient for treating a conjunctival cyst? So a conjunctival cyst, if you don't treat the inner lining of the cyst, the inner lining is responsible for inflating the cyst. It is a inflation, so to speak, that is locked off. So if you don't treat the lining, the cyst will come back because the outside just heals and then it reinflates. So what I did in this case is I cauterized the inside of the cyst to prevent recurrence. Yeah, and I mean, a cyst is really those epithelial cells that have been pushed deeper into the substantia propria, the stroma of the actual conjunctiva, and they continue to proliferate. So I think that's an important takeaway point is that that cyst cannot merely be drained, but needs to be either removed or in this case, cauterized as well.